Hey there guys, it's me, Katie Pendre, and welcome back to Berry Witch. My friend recommended this to me. Yeah, that contains violence, mild gore, mentions of suicide, mentions of self-harm, killing and death, view discretion is advised. Let's get on with this. We've already been through this all blog. Alright. We had delicious food in the last video. So, um You know what? We wanna find out who she really is. That's what we're gonna do. Hello, are you alright there? <clears throat> I hear a feminine voice call out to me. My eyes still closed. I felt a sharp pain in my head. A headache? My body felt in a different position from where I last left it. I could feel the cool grass beneath my head. But I don't remember lying down. I open my eyes to so finally greet the mysterious voice. Hello there, how do you do? You're an FKs, and I am sure you are. Oh, you're okay, thank goodness. I was starting to get worried. A girl with a bright pink hair and an even brighter disposition met my gaze. She was hovering over my body, kneeling next to me. Her smell felt warm and comforting. She emanated the smell of freshly baked bread and strawberries. The more I thought, the worse the pain in my head became because of her head. Ooh! I groaned in pain, slowly gathering the strength to stand up once more. Oh, careful there! You let me help you! The girl held onto my arm and supported me as I stood up. My legs still ached and my head hurt, but nothing bad seemed to happen to me. Right, there would be no chance of those silly legends being true. I looked over at her, noticing her fancy attire. What an odd girl. What was she doing out in the forest just like that? Who knows? I suppose I shouldn't judge her too harshly. Oh, you should judge her harshly, alright. Who just is cute, and she didn't just help me after all. But she's just like that in the middle of the forest. Thank you! Who are you? Oh, my name is Strawberry! If that's your real name. I want a bakery not too far from here! What's your name, friend? And once again, our name is Ron. Because why not? My name is Ron! It's nice to meet you. But did you say your name is Strawberry? If that's your real name. <laughs> yeah, my name is Strawberry! If that's your real name. I'm a Strawberry Witch, silly! Or are you? I don't think you are who you say you are. Hey girl, it's nice to meet you, Ron. Wait, did she just say witch? She didn't appear to be the more spiritual kind. She looked more like riding broomsticks, making potions, that kind of witch. Or perhaps she was the witch that I heard in Legends all those years ago. Golly, you look really worn out. Say, have you come and rest in my bed for a while? You yeah, so guys thirsty. I can get you something lovely to drink on the house. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Where I'm from, we don't really have witches. How can I trust you? Oh, you sad. Oh, that's too bad. Strawberry looked... If that's a real name. Strawberry looked a bit dejected from my answer. I almost felt bad, but you shouldn't. But it was good to be cautious, regardless of how sweet someone seems. Indeed. There was a part of her that was very alluring. Internally, my inner child had hoped she was the witch from the legend. Mm hmm. However, I couldn't forget the one superstition of all those who become lost in the forest are destined to die. Could could this be some elaborate trick? I wonder. I promise I don't like those horrible fairy tales. I'm a strawberry witch. A magical specialty is with anything strawberry related. The fact that my friend suggested this to me is just. My poor voice. <laughs> Although, I also use their magical abilities on my plants and make lovely sweet treats on the spot of the world. Er, or just inspire parts of the forest. Are you who you say you are? I'm really not dangerous, honest. Whatever you say, buddy, whatever you say. I'm only trying to help, Ron. It's a, I suppose she does have a point. She really doesn't seem like a threat. I feel a bit odd, peculiar at that. I have to admit, a part of me was a tad disappointed that she wasn't the witch of the legends. I suppose that's what I get for still believing in childless things like that, huh? Yep, you should because you're an idiot. 
It's not really like I had anything better to do anyways. I came into this force for a reason. But a break from my journey wouldn't hurt. Alright, thank you. I'll come I'll come with you. Her eyes lit up at my response. It's almost as if she had hadn't had a willing customer in a long time. That's probably because they're all dead. Oh, thank you, thank you! I promise you will regret this here, it's right this way! Whatever you say, buddy, whatever you say. The witch enthusiastically led me through the winding paths of the forest. She appeared as though she knew every tree, bush, and rock, like the back of her hand. As I walked, one question lingered in my mind. Why would you build a bakery in a supposedly cursed forest? Surely it must be bad business to set up shop out where people are too scared to go. Russian spy, are you? Maybe that's where her witchy magic kicked in. Perhaps she has her own reasons I can't simply see yet. Or are you from China? China, 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 China. I try to rationalize answers to each question that kept invading my head. My thoughts kept me so preoccupied that I was frankly a shock to me when we arrived at the location. What the? The house strawberry led me to appeared to be made entirely of cake with sugary frosting on top the candy scented rooftop. It looks so delectable. The appearance the appearance to be any child's raised dream. A very creative, imaginal child with particularly sweet tooth status. Was it real? This all felt like an entirely different world. It was almost as if I said into a fairy tale. <laughs> Screaming to blankets. That's one way to do it. Walking through fields of strawberries, bush walking through fields of strawberry bushes and close to the house, I could see a sign that read Strawberry Witch's Bakery. Tada! Here we are! What do you think of the exterior, Ron? It took me so long to perfect my magic in order to make anything this cute! That's very strange, woman, it's very strange. This is plain freaky. It seemed deceptively cutesy, and something about this whole situation just wasn't sticking right in my stomach. Maybe this was all a bad dream. It would explain the fantastical setting. No, the pain in my legs and head solidified the fact that this wasn't a dream. Just what was really going on here? It's very strange. Aw, you sad? Aw, you poor little thing! I said out loud, mostly in response to the situation. This one's strawberry frown. Obviously, she was hoping for a more pleased answer. I don't feel bad, even if she did work hard on all this. The strawberry witch gimmick was starting to freak me out. Mm, North Korea, maybe? Doubts in my head began surfacing about the trustworthiness of this girl. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, that's okay. Everyone has different tastes, I suppose. She tried to answer politely, but I could tell from her shaky voice my words hurt her. Here, yeah, regardless, you two rest inside. The witch gathered me inside. The overpowering smell of sugar filled my nostrils with every step closer. <laughs> A warm rush of air brushed past my face upon entering the door of the bakery. The smell of fresh baked goods welcomed me further into the house. It was obviously apparent the strawberry theme resonated inside the building as well. Everything from the bright lights to the chairs, even the rug was shaped in a strawberry pattern. The walls separating the front counters and blah 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 yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't want anything, thank you very much. I don't think I want anything, thanks. I spoke with a cold expression that caused strawberry smell to fall. Huh, but wasn't that the reason we came here in the first place? To get you something to drink? No, no. He's got a point. Uh, that is, I will give you... 
That is a good point. Point to you, that's a good point. A mysterious, self-proclaimed witch invites me to her house and offers me a drink, hoping for nothing in return. She may, she may appear nice, but this is too suspicious. What if she put something in the drink? Whatever demise might fall before me here was definitely not the way I want to go out. <sighs> it's okay, Ron. You must not be thirsty. Why not take a seat and rest for a while? I just need to check on something real quick. Mm -hmm. She said this before quickly scurrying into a door in the corner of the room, which I can only assume led into the kitchen. I took a moment to observe the room a bit closer before sitting down. My gaze landed on the spiral staircase in the corner of the room. Vines of strawberries wrapped themselves gently around the hand railing, ripe and fresh as all the strawberries in the area. Yep, yep, yep. Sit down, hmm? Are you hearing anything, Ron? Yes. The potential of poisoning drinking doing the worst to the drink greatly outweighed my thirst. Better safe than sorry. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> um, okay, just let me know if you change your mind, alright? I'm always here if you need anything, and I truly do mean anything at all. She smiled at me. Her voice sounded genuinely concerned. It was admittedly strange to feel someone so worried about me. As it should. I wasn't used to the feeling. I wasn't sure if I trusted it. Our conversation slowly melted into the silence. I should probably think of something to say. Who are you? What are you doing here? What are you from? What are you from? What spy? Are you a Chinese spy? Are you from North Korea? Why are you an FBI agent? You work for the CIA. Are you here for the taxes? Because I'm for a food out of sense. I am not paying the taxes. Huh? Do you understand me, woman? Do you understand me? What is your mom's maiden name? Who are you, Mr. Strawberry? If that's your legal name. I mean, anything you do here is just an elaborate tight cover up for the court's power. So, why exactly do you live out here all on your own? That's, I guess that's one way of putting it. Oh, one thing led to another, an opportunity came up I cannot refuse. Mm-hmm. You could feel the loneliness through her words alone. It was pitiful. She didn't exactly answer my question fully, though. I was itching to know more. Truthfully, I don't like being by myself at all. I get really quiet out here. <laughs> what opportunity? Why my bakery, of course. What else would it be? You spy on us? Spunnik, is it? Hmm. That's not a thing I've been curious about. Just why exactly did you choose to build a bakery here? It doesn't seem like it attracts many people, especially with all the rumors about the force. Poor decision, if you ask my opinion. My questions came spilling out of my mouth, along with my internal thoughts. Every time I'd hoped to clear up some superstition, suspicion, I was always brought back with more questions. This time, I wanted answers. Do you know about the legends of these forests, correct? It would be shocking if you didn't know. What legends? I don't know what you're talking about! Sure you don't, sure you don't. That's what they all say. Either you're a liar, or you're incredibly stupid. Ooh, she didn't like that at all. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh. I didn't believe Strawberry for a second. How could she not know the rumors? Anyone who lives anywhere near these woods hears about them and even passing jokes. It's especially shocking for a self proclaimed witch to not know the urban legend about the witch who lives deep in the woods. Surely someone have surely someone must have told her, right? I guess I would be the one that has to. There are many stories surrounding this force. Too many to count. However, there's two rumors I think you should know. If you really insist on being ignorant. Strawberry sat there silently as I continued to tell her the urban legends. The first one is about a supposed witch that lives in the depths of these forests. Legend states that she has a power to bring anyone's deepest desires into reality. 
The witch's eyes lit up for a second at the mention of that story. So it was familiar to her. The second one says that anyone who becomes lost within these woods is destined to die. Stop opening that thing, please. Well, well, that's just silly. I've gotten lost in these woods plenty of times, and I'm okay. You also got lost, and here you are still standing. Well, of course, I don't believe in that one. However, a lot of people do. It just seems suspicious that you haven't heard, but chose to build a bakery here. I really haven't heard of that, but the first one, I think that might be about me. <laughs> I'm sure it would. Although, I'm not exactly good at granting wishes yet. I'm still learning. Sure you are, sure you are. So, it was her after all. I thought you might be. The conversation got awkwardly quiet once more. Say, Ron. I may not be very skilled at it yet, but I can grant small wishes. Your deepest desires within reason could come true. I guess what I'm trying to say is, what is it that your heart most desires? I stood up from my seat almost immediately. Ooh. I sincerely hope you're not still trying to win me over. I've seen Pastor Trade here. Huh? I don't understand. Please, your smile is so fake I can see from a mile away. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but whatever it is, it's not working on me. Then now there must have been some sort of misunderstanding. This is ridiculous. I don't know how I could even be bothered wasting my time here. Ron! Please! I don't mean any harm! I even asked the girl you wish! I, I don't understand! That's what they all say. Why would I ever trust someone as useless as you to grant my wish? You seem to be a pathetic excuse for a witch. And you're the first one I've ever even seen. Ooh. Hell, I wouldn't even be surprised if you were lying about being a witch to get someone out of here. To get something out of someone. You look like the type of person who really uses others for her own benefit. <sighs> Why do you even try? It's sad at this point, Strawberry. I hate liars and deceivers. Strawberry is rather shocked. No words from the witch to defend herself, hmm? Sounds right. That's what I thought. You're nothing but a liar. Ooh, she's sad. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at those crocodile tears. Run! Excuse me for a moment. I need to check on something. I'm sure you do. She ran off quickly to the kitchen once more. Running from your problems? <laughs> she could just run- She could just own up to it. This was so frustrating. Follow her. As if I let her get away that easily, who knows what she could be plotting? I got up from my seat quietly, and I followed her after her into the kitchen, making sure not to draw attention to myself. The witch was running frantically over from one drawer to another, investigating each cupboard with a certain sense of desperation. I fell down behind the counter to avoid getting caught. What was she looking for? No, no, God, where is it? Where is it? Ooh, there's a knife right there. Her voice ran throughout the room, shaken and broken. She, she sounded like she was crying. Her back was turned to me as she dug through one of the drawers. Suddenly, Strawberry gasped. <gasps> I took this moment to sneak closer to her while she was turned away from me. She was holding some sort of paper that was ripped out of a notebook. Reading only the first few sentences, I could tell what kind of note this was. From what I could see, it began with, my dear straw bunnies, I am so sincerely sorry for you to find me in such a way. I never wanted it to come to this, but I don't ask you to handle any more of this torture. Please forgive me. When I die, I want my body to be useful for you all. Please consume my corpse in whatever way you would find most delicious. Perhaps a sweet cake. I stopped reading after that part. What the hell is wrong with this woman? Have I really pushed her that far that she would resort to this? No, clearly she was already unstable and she had already had the note pre-prepared. She turned around much quicker than I thought she would. 
<laughs> it caught us both off guard, seeing each other. Eek! Well, what are you doing here? Shaking a bit, Strawberry held her note behind her back. It was a little too late to hide that. What are you doing? I didn't answer her previous question. Frankly, I was a little shocked at such a turn of events. I know, my strawberry see me like this is bad enough. She was mumbling to herself now. Either of us had answers to each, other, each other's questions. Why are you still here? I don't, I don't know why you're still here. I know why everyone really comes in this forest. Just leave already! Get over with somewhere I can't see! I'm so tired of this! Ooh, what are you doing here, Mr. Ron? You're both guilty here, I see. Her mumbles turned into loud, incoherent sobs. It was hard enough figuring out what exactly she meant. Taking a step back, I tried to process what she was saying. The very reason I came into this forest. Ooh, and why did you come into this forest, Ron? I tried to help you! I tried to help everyone! But I can't do it anymore! Nothing I do ever works! Nobody ever stays! More tears fell down her face as she backed herself against the drawers. Every time she tried to wipe a tear away, another would just replace it seconds later. I've never seen someone shake like this so much. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you really don't know. Look at that face. <laughs> Until suddenly, the tears stopped. I was frozen in place. She looked off to the side with a dead expression. But hey, you say yourself, Ron. I'm a pathetic excuse for a witch. <laughs> Strawberry laughed, an unsettling smile creeping up on her face. <laughs> I can at least fulfill my purpose. One more time. I know where your heart truly desires, Ron. I didn't understand what she was saying until I realized until I realized that she grabbed the knife on top of the drawers. My heartbeat was skyrocketing. I quickly turned to run out of the kitchen. You're going to be delicious! Ooh, Strawberry called out, quickly plunging the knife into my back before I could make my escape. Ooh, we got a little backstabber on our hands, do we? <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> Interesting. I could feel the blood pulling out of me as I screamed in pain. What hurt even more was the second and third stab she made immediately afterwards. How many times? How many times are you gonna stab me in the back like that, dude? Jeez. Blind trust. I fell to the floor. Night. That's my much better. Feeling myself giving in to all of the pain. I slowly lost consciousness. Ah. <laughs> what a glorious cake! Shame more people won't be able to enjoy it, hmm? <laughs> Don't worry, Ron! I will, I'll join you soon! <laughs> Should I clear herself? A breakdown. Ooh, the next. Okay, so we have two more endings left again. The diary, I believe, it might be in its own ending. And I guess we can wait instead of going following her, maybe? Ah, no. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lovely video. I'm losing my mind. Bye bye!